Hi there, and welcome back to my channel where we do fun iOS stuff and learn about new things that we can do in Swift, Swift UI, or anything that Apple does. If you love learning about new things that you can do with Swift or Swift UI, make sure that you follow me, uh, that you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, all of these things. You know how that works out here on YouTube. So, in this video, I would like to take a look at the new tab view slash sidebar API that Apple added for iOS 18. I spent some time playing with it and I find it quite interesting, especially if you want to support uh, both iPhones and iPads with the same tab view, essentially. So what we have here is a, a simple app that I've created where I have a tab view that allows me to go through different tabs, as well as toggling into a sidebar where we can see that we have several um, several menu items available that we can go to. We have sections here, which is pretty cool. And we also have the ability to go into a split view where we get a nice tab bar at the bottom, which follows the classical pattern that we're already used to. And then iPhone, we get the exact same uh, tab bar at the bottom. So how do we get that? Well. Let's just go ahead and build this from almost scratch. I do have some code prepared for you, of course, so that we don't have to type everything out. But let's take a look at how we start and how we get to where we want to be. So the first thing to note is that we have a tab view that we use inside of our content view. So this tab view is going to make the actual tab bar that we're looking at. And inside of the tab view, we have a tab. Tab is a new view, and it allows us to specify title and an image as well as a detail view, which will be the view that we go to when we navigate on this specific uh, tab. So in this case, that would be my overview view, which is the main view that you saw earlier. Uh, I also have an, all the way at the bottom, the search uh, tab, which is a special kind of tab. It uses the role uh, initializer that gets us a tab that is always shown all the way at the end uh, in tab mode, like you can see right there. So that's quite interesting. Uh, we also have a bunch of tab sections in here. These tab sections are actually what make up the interesting part of this uh, video because in the sidebar, we saw all those sections uh, available to us. And then what we see in the tab view on uh, iPad is actually not entirely the same. Right, so if we look at this on iPad, I see main blog, books, courses, and workshops. And then if I go into sidebar mode, I see main search, those are the tabs that I had, and I see blog as a section, but not as one of the items that I can choose. So what happens there is that in tab bar mode, the uh, name for every section is going to be used as the name for your tab. And the very first element inside of that tab section is going to be what a user navigates to. So in this case, in tab mode, uh, what I see is this tab section's name and when I select that tab, I go to the uh, All Topics tabs detail view. So that was one thing that I found quite surprising initially uh, because I was not expecting that to happen. Now, one more or less downside that I ran into with this entire API is that this works pretty good. This gets me the tab bar that I want. However, it doesn't do exactly what I need it to do. So I'll just go ahead and run the code as is on iPad now. And we'll actually see that I can't go into sidebar mode just yet. So we'll fix that in a moment. Before we do, I want to show you what happens when I make this uh, a split view app. So in split view mode, we can see that my tab bar now has main, all topics, Swift UI, concurrency, and basically my whole list of all of my tabs, which is not what I want. What I wanted was to have those exact same tab elements that I had before, right, the ones that I have here, to be shown whenever I am in compact mode, like I am now, whenever I go into split view. So that is something to figure out. How do I actually make that work as I want? Before we do that, though, I want to get us into a mode where we have split uh, uh, sidebar support. So to do that, all I have to do is add a tab view style view modifier to my tab view and give that a sidebar adaptable. So that will actually get me the sidebar 
uh, view, which is great. So if I add that, I now have this icon here and it allows me to go back and forth between tab view and the sidebar view. And the sidebar view works exactly as I would like. So how do I go about fixing everything for smaller screens like the iPhone or split view iPads? And what's cool is we can actually leverage something called size classes in our SwiftUI views. A size class is, is a, um, a little bit of information about the environment that we're in. So for iPhones, that's going to be a compact size class. And for iPads, it's going to be a regular, which is exactly what we want. And it also adapts to the amount of space available for our app, right? So if the app is in full width, it is regular, and when it becomes smaller and it goes into split view, it becomes compact. Interesting enough and nice for us is that the cutoff for the tab view at the top turning into a tab view that is shown in the classic way at the bottom is exactly where compact and regular uh, transition into each other. So we can actually pull our current size class from the environment like this. We can say add environment slash horizontal size class for horizontal size. And then we can actually grab our size class. And now what we can actually do is start to change the contents of our tab view based on the size class. So for the horizontal size class, we actually, uh, for the regular size class, we actually want to say, if horizontal size is regular, do everything that I have here. Else, I just want to use a regular tab. I don't want to use a tab section. So I'll copy this all topics tab and I will make that my uh, blog tab. Right, so before I do them all, I just want to show you what this looks like when I run on a phone. We should be able to now see that we have blog here. Right, and so the second overview with the books is actually the overview of this one. Right, so we can actually go on ahead and implement that one too, saying if horizontal size equals regular, use this whole thing, else use a tab, call it books, use a system image of books.vertical and put this in there. And then we can also do the same for courses, horizontal size equals regular, we'll use a tab section, else, we'll just use this overview for courses. And lastly, for the workshops, if horizontal size equals regular, I'm just going to repeat the exact same thing one more time, else we use this overview tab like that. So if I run my app now, we should only have the sections that we want on the phone, blog, books, courses. We can go to more to see workshops in the search. Very nice. And if we go to the iPad and build for that, we should actually see that our large view is unchanged. We can still do the exact same stuff. But if we go into split view mode, this will adapt and actually use our traditional tab bar with the items that we want. So that's how we can support uh, the sidebar on multiple kinds of devices uh, while having sections on the iPad and having sensible uh, tab bar items on smaller screens. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that you're always up to date with everything I put out. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.